before we start painting, we are going to cut out our vase so we have placement of the branches. So we have a yellow piece of paper today. You need to put your name on it first. You can put it on the back if you would like. I'm just going to put mine down in the corner. We have this cut out first so we can place it and know how far to put our branches. I'm not going to put mine on the very bottom because I don't like the way that looks. So I'm going to trace really hard right here. doesn't have to be that hard. Um, next is the painting of the branches. You will most likely be sharing with one other person today. And when you finish, just put your uh, brush down like this. You shouldn't need a lot of paint. I like to wipe mine on the side so I can get this pointier piece. And I probably should went the other way to get a pointy piece. Paint is really dry. They're not very straight, so I'm gonna gonna keep on going till I'm happy with it. I was hoping to get a little bit pointier. There's one. If you make more branches you can apply more flowers so it's up to you. I think I'm just going to do three branches because I like odd numbers and I like the number three. So I'm going to stop right there and the next part will be gluing down tissue paper. The next step is for you to decide where you want to put your flowers. I just went ahead and put big dollops of glue wherever I decided I wanted flowers. You get two squares of tissue paper, fold them up and glue them down the best that you can. When you're finished, you're going to glue down your vase. And if you have time and you need to, you can go get a Sharpie and finish your vase decorating. Remember, it was supposed to be monochrome, one color. When you're done, put it on the drying rack.